Hi everyone, Andrew from Street Machine here at BK Race Engines. Today we'll be taking a look at the engine that's being screwed together for Newlon's Project XY. The guys at Newlon are really keen for us to take a look at what they've been up to and obviously Bill and the guys at BK got plenty of form when it comes to screwing together a tough engine. So let's head in and see what they've got on the go for the XY. We've started out with a, with a factory block here. Obviously the block goes out, it gets chemically cleaned and then from that point we sonic test it, check cylinder wall thicknesses, if the block passes its test, we move on, you know. This block here, we've bored the four inch and 30 thou, you know, zero deck the block, you know, a lot of hand prep work goes into them. These things have issues with drain back, so we try to do whatever we can to increase oil drain back in these things. You know, this thing's got a one piece re remain seal in it. All the threads are re-tapped and cleaned. The lifter bores are honed to size. There's a lot of issues with these things where the oil feed on the pump is on the opposite side of the oil hole in the block. So, you know, we elongate the, the, open up the oil feed. Once BK Race Engines has worked its magic, a SCAT stroker crank combined with SCAT rods and custom forged pistons will be installed, up in capacity to 408 cubic inches. A BK Race Engines custom camshaft will be installed and accessories will include an ice ignition system and a billet APD carburetor. It's a US grounded camshaft that we have designed. It's a tight lash cam, so the camshaft itself is very quiet. It's 110 lobe separation. Now the camshaft's in the 250 range and it's just over 600 thou valve lift. We have found this to be very, very durable. They work great, power's great. You know, a camshaft like this will be able to pull 3.5 diff gears. This low speed driving from 1500 to 3500 will be smooth. And, and combined this with the small cylinder head that we have, it, it's just gonna be a, a perfect street engine. We run a tool steel lifter, it's a lightweight lifter, it's got a 12th hour oil feed in the bottom of the lifter, so that way there's added oil to the, to the load. With this combination, we've had engines that have done, you know, eight to 10 years of street driving and, and they're still going strong. Match that with a good quality oil, you're not going to have any issues there. Uh, this carburetor is built by APD in America, fully CNC'd, hard anodized. Uh, it's a 950 carburetor. This carburetor we've been working with APD for, for near two years now on a combination like this. So this is probably the best out of, out of the box carburetor that you will find for you know, 620, 630 horsepower. The great thing about it is it allows us to tune the engine leaner, which makes it a lot cleaner. You know, less chance of fouling up spark plugs. Uh, the drivability is fantastic. Uh, there's not much more you can say. The, the things are fantastic. Like what you see here is, you know, the, the, probably the best you're going to find in a 620 horsepower package. In every engine that we build here at BK Race Engines, uh, in our, all our street packages, ice ignition is the only choice. Uh, you know, in this case here, we have a box. It's got multiple ignition curves. So, you know, it allows us to fine tune the car's drivability on the street. In this case here, we've got a top end rev limiter. And if it was a race car, we could even have a two step in it. All that in one box. Uh, his, his distributors, you know, full billet body. Uh, it's all proven, it's all tested. Being an Australian company, we wanted to use as many other Australian companies as possible. So for the heads and inlet manifold, we chose CHI, Cylinder Head Innovations. The heads themselves are actually cast in Australia at one of the country's only and leading foundries at Cast Tech in South Australia. The raw heads are then sent to CHI outside of Melbourne for machining and any CNC work required. CHI is a family owned business with over 40 years of experience. They build and supply heads for drag racing, circuit racing, burnout cars, sprint cars and more. BK Race Engines chose the 3V208 Cleveland heads, which are perfect for our power targets and intended use, matched to a CHI 3V inlet manifold. The heads come as a complete package, machined and assembled with valves and springs, helping save on further machining costs and time. Now this head's not a CNC ported head, but obviously the chambers are CNC'd. Uh, it runs a 208 intake valve, a 1650 exhaust valve. It's not the highest flowing CHI head, but again, the, the port cross section with the capacity that we have, with the camshaft we have, it's all matched. You know, this combination could make, you know, 650 horsepower plus, but 
what we're trying to achieve here is we're just trying to get a perfect street engine. Okay, so the intake manifold we have is a, is a CHI 3V. It's made to fit the 208 cylinder head that we're using. Uh, single plane intake, you know, this, this is a great manifold for, for the RPM range we're trying to work with. You know, everything that we buy, you know, it has to go through a quality control process. Before we do anything, we check all the rods for length, for straightness, for size. We check all the crankshaft pins, make sure they're all within the tolerance. So in this case here, this is the engine's been internally balanced. And as you can tell from the, the crank, the, from the counterweight, you know, we've barely had to, had to drill it. So, you know, it's going to make the engine better without that external mass hanging off the front and rear of it. You know, it's going to make the crankshaft lift longer. It's going to make the engine more stable in the higher revs. So basically that's what we're trying to do with these things. And unfortunately it makes the, the build process that little bit more expensive because there's potentially 10 or 12 hours that we spend just checking everything out, you know. With the engine assembly finished and Bill satisfied that the engine met his high standards, it was time to fire it up and lay down some numbers. BK Race engines employ their own engine dyno as it allows them to run in, test and tune their engines in a controlled environment before signing off on an engine build. When testing and tuning an engine on the dyno, the engine is set up and plugged into the cooling system. The headers are attached to the exhaust and the fuel lines are plumbed up to the carby, while oil pressure oil temperature and water temperature are all logged, along with the air fuel ratio. Uh, the engine's been broken in on, on the dyno itself. It's a controlled environment, water temp. Uh, obviously all the, all the channels are, are logged, so we, we, we can check all the sensors as the engine's breaking in. It's controlled the, the, the cycling of the engine. It allows the rings to settle. It gives us the opportunity to break the camshaft in and uh, it just makes sure that the engine's right to go when we're ready to put some power runs on it. With the run-in process completed, the oil was drained from the engine and a sample sent away to the lab for testing. The oil testing will, over time, help to give an insight into the performance and durability of the oil and provide a health check on the engine. We also added fresh Newlon 25W60 oil to the engine. Uh, we always break the engine in with a, a mineral-based oil uh, it, it gives the rings an opportunity to bed in. Uh, in this case, we've used a, a high zinc, high molly oil, uh, which you know has minimised the amount of wear on the camshaft, uh, prolonging the engine's life. Now for the fun stuff: power runs. By the end of the dyno session, the engine made a peak of 634 horsepower and 575 pound-feet of torque. But it's not the peak, but rather the curve, that tells the story of how impressive this engine is. The engine develops 600 horsepower by 6,000 RPM and continues making power all the way to the 7,000 RPM rev limit. Importantly, peak torque is achieved below 5,000 RPM, which helps with the day-to-day -day drivability. Impressive stuff 
and exactly what BK Race Engines promised. The plan was with this engine is to make as much power as early as we could and I think we've achieved that. Basically it's a, it's a, it's a ball terror of a straight engine. Tune into the next episode of Newlon Project XY as Spray Fever lay down some colour and the build team get stuck into the interior. <laughs>